All right, we're over here in South Dakota. I'm kind of in a bad mood. I know I don't get in a bad mood very often, but uh, somebody did not do their job. The uh, paperwork said that I needed a, or it was first come, first serve. I got over here and they said I need an appointment. Oh man, son of a gun. Look at that, I got a flat tire. I got a flat tire. Alright, I got my shower cleaned up. I'm over here parked in a tucked away over here at the Walmart in Albert Lee, Minnesota. So that's Walmart right there. And we're actually here. If, let me look, you can look in the mirror. We're backed in. This is the end of the road back there. So we're backed into the little hole right here. And then the laundry is right down there. So I'll get my exercise. I'll walk down there to the laundry. And then Walmart, I'll go stock up over there. But uh, this is usually where I hang out. So I'm not on Walmart's property, so they don't get mad. And I'm tucked away at the end of the road, so it should be okay. Ah, uh, that's it. Uh, tomorrow, we go load. So we're going to leave early in the morning. I'll run over. I'm going to get a cup of coffee. And then um, we'll head up to uh, Minneapolis. We're going to try to leave early in the morning and then uh, beat some of the traffic up there so that's the plan i'm watching there's a truck driving up here see where he's going see a truck right there but uh, anyway all right that's it talk to you later thanks for watching okay we're in bloomington illinois it's friday um we got uh loaded this morning we've actually done pretty good uh we knocked out about 500 miles today uh, we're on our way down to Charleston, South Carolina. We got to be there 10 o'clock on Monday. Uh, we're running out of hours though. Like that. And, so uh, anyway, bottom line is we're running on a recap. We're going to be cutting it close on hours, but I think we're going to be all right. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of a break uh, Monday when we get down to Charleston because we don't load till Tuesday. So we're not going to burn up too many hours on Monday. Uh, we loaded shipping containers today for the Army. Um, we'll go take a look at them. I don't think I've ever hauled shipping containers with you guys. Um, they're pretty easy. Uh, two chains at the bottom, and then I always throw two straps. So uh, let's go outside. I'll show you, and we'll talk about it a little bit. All right, here's our shipping containers. Um, this one's 15,000 pounds. And that one in the back is about 5,000 pounds. Um, so I'm a little heavy on the front here, but we're all right. Um, so this is kind of how I like to do them. Uh, run a chain. There's several ways you can run your chain. I like to run my chains on the front. And then I like to come down as close to the corner as possible. Meaning I like to attach the chain as close as I can to the corner. I see guys run them back here. And that's okay. It's just... I like it when it's uh, down on the corner like that and then put a ratchet binder in the middle and then uh, we'll throw two straps over it like this here now I put the twist in the straps and I get a lot of comments of why um, if that twist was not in there that strap will sit there and buzz it'll, bzzz, it'll sit like that and it's not because it's loose it's just the way the wind hits the strap when it's flat 
you put that twist in it, that wind catches the strap and it kind of holds that strap from buzzing around. So that's one of the reasons. And I know some countries, I think Australia, I think Canada, you're not allowed to have a twist. I get all kinds of comments about that, but here you can have a twist, it's okay. You can twist it as much as you want. Um, so here you can see the chains in the middle. And like I said, I like, I like to run my chain as close to the corner as possible. And my theory on that is, is that the, the, the container won't twist like this on the trailer. I would think if you run your chain further back, the container will have a tendency to want to twist. That's my theory. I don't know if it's true or not. Oh, we're at a TA truck stop. That is I-55 right out there. That's uh, north and that's south. So, oh, uh, we started our day super early this morning. So uh, we got uh, we got done early today. We're out of hour. We had like 22 minutes left on our clock for today. There's a, a good looking Peterbilt right there. Good looking Peterbilt. So we'll walk over here, take a look. But uh, so anyway, today went pretty good. We knocked out about 500 miles and um, tomorrow we're gonna do about another 500. We're gonna try to get down to Knoxville tomorrow. That's the goal. And then uh, from there, we'll have about 350. From right here, we got about 900 miles to go down to Charleston, so we should be okay. All right, we'll call it quits. Talk to you later. All right, we're in Oakwood, Illinois, at the Love's Truck Stop. Uh, we made it to Bloomington, Illinois last night. We left this morning. I stopped here to get some fuel and to uh, fill up my def tank. If you look right where that air land truck is you can see how much room is right here there's enough room for me to swing around and fill up my def tank plus it's Saturday morning it's not too busy so uh, topped off the def tank I didn't buy much fuel because Illinois fuel is expensive but I bought enough to make it down to Tennessee I put 100 gallons in make it down to Tennessee and we're gonna make it down to Knoxville tonight right at just north of Knoxville at a TA truck stop so we got enough fuel to get down there once we get down there we'll uh, we'll top off the truck there but we're on our way to Charleston South Carolina I gotta stop somewhere today and get me a shower so when I stop to take my 30-minute uh, break and I have a lot of, of uh, loves I've been buying a lot of loves fuel lately not by choice it's just the way it's worked out but uh, I'll stop at a love somewhere and get a shower there's a loves pretty good sized loves in Kentucky on the other side of Louisville there on 64 so we might go down there and by then it should be enough to take my 30 minute break and then that won't put us too far away from Tennessee we've been doing good all right so we are gonna get on 74 did I call it 64 I don't know we're gonna get on 74 run it over to Indianapolis get on 65 run south on 65 down to Louisville and get on 64 in Louisville over to 75 in Lexington Kentucky and then we're gonna take 75 down to um, Knoxville now I thought it would be shorter to run 74 all to Indianapolis all the way over to Cincinnati and get on 75 but Google Maps says it's quicker to go down through Louisville and I don't really need to stop in Louisville for anything so we'll just drive by Mercertown and leave so let's get on the interstate and uh, I'll talk to you in a bit
64 now. There's a Love on this side of the street and a Flying J on the other side. We're going to go to the Loves because I got a bunch of Love shower tickets. From right here, we got about 170 miles to uh, where I want to get to tonight, which is over in Pioneer, Tennessee. There's a TA truck stop. It's only been there a couple of years. And it's not real big, but it's a pretty good size. Um, it's Saturday, so, and we're going to get there about, probably about 6 o'clock. It's Saturday, so there should be enough parking. Traffic go by here. There we go. So there should be enough parking when we get there. And if not, they got plenty of uh, paid parking. So if we have to, and, uh, paid parking. Now this little loves is usually always busy. Um, they usually have cheap, cheaper fuel. So it's busy. But we got plenty of fuel. We got half a tank. I'm gonna buy fuel down in um, Tennessee. It's a lot cheaper down there than here. So we got plenty of fuel to get down to Tennessee. You guys can have a quick tour of the Love's truck stop. Oh, let's see if we can find a parking spot. It's not too hard to uh, back into. get some exercise let's go down here I was gonna park in that one there but we'll get some exercise park one of these spots I picked that spot there is because I can pull straight up and get almost pretty straight with the parking spot. So all I have to do is just back straight up. And it's like I said before, first rule of parking is park in the easiest spot. Let's see if I can get it in between the lines here. I wish I had a camera set up to where I could do is hit a switch and the uh, it would record on the on the back back there. And I have looked for something. And I can find a uh, like a uh, rear camera mount, but it shows the lines like on a car. But I wish I could have a, a setup like a, that I could just hit the button and it record. All right, that's it. Um, let's go ahead and log off duty. Take our 30 minute break. Idle up the truck, let it cool off a little bit. Go get a shower. Talk to you in a bit.